Hey everybody, it's Jason, or Agent J, whichever you prefer. Today we're going to talk about the Nidus Infested Warframe. Now, in order to get this, you have to go and get the blueprint from the Glass Gambit. And once you complete that mission, you will be able to use that blueprint. And if you want to get all the parts for it, you can go to Ostras on Eris and make sure you play all the way to Rotation C. Remember, the rotations go A, A, B, and C. And this mission is going to be an infested salvage. Now, once you actually do get everything together and actually construct the parts, and they're all complete, you'll have to build the main Warframe, which is going to cost you about 2,000 Kuva too. So make sure you also have that on hand too. All right, now let's talk about some of his abilities here. Now, the first one we got is Fire Runs. Basically, what this does is it lays down an infested trail and it uses about 40 energy and each enemy that you hit with this trail you will regain back about 10 energy plus each enemy hit also adds to the stack counter which will just keep building up which will allow you to use your third and fourth abilities later on now for every five enemies that you hit with this it will mutate and there it will chain and you can also use this with your third ability laying down longer trails now one thing to remember is that you will not be able to cast this power in the air so you have to be make sure you're standing on solid ground now if you press and hold the key for this power you will notice a little box that kind of appears up in front of you and you can use this to kind of set an area where you want the virulence line to go through and it'll kind of cover that area to long go with it and one other thing important here too is remember is that it cannot travel on terrain however my plane through I have discovered it can go up slopes or stairs it can go up or down so next one we're gonna talk about is larva now these things spawn some infested pods that will latch on with tendrils and pull your enemies in basically swirls them around a little bit kind of like Ballman's vortex does just a bit and it'll just keep absorbing enemies you can hit them and cause damage while they are inside now you can use this in addition with fire relance as it will work in tandem with it to help also increase your stack amount too because every additional enemy you go and bring into it when you cast that virulence line it counts as hitting those enemies too so if you got 10 15 or whatever happen to be in there it, it's gonna really add up after a while you cannot recast this while being active but you can cast it in the air though so if you happen to be flying across you can kind of just toss it out there and it bye bye enemies all right now the next ability we have here is a uh, parasitic link this is you know one like uh, Trinity's link a little bit but it's also works with your allies too and basically it just causes a tether and launches it towards an enemy within your certain range and if you happen to take damage as need us it will deflect most all of that damage to the linked enemy and when you release it it will inflict even more damage which if you have enough it could end up just killing the enemy outright now whenever you use this with warframes it will basically increase the power strength of the Warframe abilities that you happen to be linked to. So if you happen to, let's say, throw it at and be linked with an Excalibur, you'll give him, you know, more power strength to his Radio Javelin and Exalted Blade too. And with Parasitic Link, you can only have one Link active at any time, and if you happen to cast it again, and this is like what I mentioned earlier, it will basically sever the Link, and you know, if you also have to be connected to the enemy, it will cause additional damage. Now, this last ability, Ravenous, basically what happens whenever you cast this, you're going to do a bit of a casting animation, and it's going to put a, basically a whole bunch of infested stuff onto the ground and you'll have little cysts and stuff that maggots will spawn out of that will eventually go in and attack enemies now the added benefit of having this while it also attacks your enemies is if you or any of your warframe allies happens to be standing inside of this you will actually start to regenerate health now the maggots that the cysts happen to spawn will actually benefit from mutations so if, you know, like before if you get a couple enemies you know once they all 
get finished off, they'll add to the mutation, and then, you know, it'll, it'll just keep spiraling out. Now, and the beauty part about this is, is you can also recast it while it happens to be active, but unfortunately, you can only have one instance at a time, though. However, when you do recast it, it'll basically refresh the strength on it in order to, you know, make it strong again, and the timer will reset, of course. Now, considering that this guy has absolutely no shields, it's more beneficial to basically mod him up for the hell, so you'll definitely be using that vitality there. However, I would probably recommend staying away from your Vigor, even though it does have health, but it also adds shields, and of course this frame has no shields, so there's no benefit from it. Now, for the mods I will be using for the... I'm probably going to be definitely be using vitality, just for the fact that I can add health, and I'm also going to be using Intensify too, just before adding the power strength. Um, I'm going to throw a probably just a regular flow mod, since if you keep using your first ability, you can keep getting energy back as long as you hit four or more. Throw a Prime Flow in there too if you happen to have it, you know, just to keep an energy pool going. Definitely want to have continuity in there too, or a Prime continuity if you happen to have that because it will extend the duration of your Viren's Trail just a bit and your Ravenous so that way if you happen to want to help your team heal a little bit more because you happen to be low, you know, they can benefit. And the last mod I would recommend you use is Reach because it will extend the range of all your abilities. Especially if you like using that Parasitic Link and extend the range of that so you can move further away or know like you have to be tethered to an ally and cover one side while you cover the other but other than that for my final thoughts i would actually give this a pretty good rating because it's pretty tanky um the abilities has just to keep adding strength onto it more and more and, you know I'm almost sure if I took this you know like deep into a defense or even a survival that you would be able to, you know, go for extended periods of time. And this would be definitely one of those frames I would consider going in for those long duration defense or survivals. So if you happen to actually get the chance, I would definitely recommend you get this frame. Alright, well, I'm going to leave it at that, so thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and click subscribe to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also, feel free to leave a comment down below if you have, you know, tips, suggestions, or, you know, what loadouts you happen to be using with Nita's too. Take care, see you next time.